Hey guys, my name's Eve Ghost Boom and welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So in this video, we're going to be getting the rest of the gems and 100%ing this game alright. And also we're going to be playing as Coco Bandicoot for the majority of the video. I actually had to restart this level because um, I started playing as Crash and then I realized, oh crap, I'm supposed to be playing as Coco in this video, but oh well. Alright, so let's do this. So this level's pretty easy, of course, you guys know. Now that we've got the green gem, we can go to the secret gem area and finally get the gem for this level. Alright. So yeah, this is my first time playing as Coco. She seems to handle about the same as Crash, I think. I don't really see any differences so far. Alright, cool. Alright, spin that. Torna token, get rid of you, Piranha Plant. Alright, get out of here, skunks. Jeez. Wait, what? No holds barred? What's that? I don't know. That's a trophy for something, but I don't know. Okay, jump, jump. Go, 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 go. Coco Invincibility! Alright. Oh, there's the gem area. Sweet. Get all these things. And up we go. Alright. Bounce. Alright. Oh, no, no. Wait, there's one more. There we go. Haha. -ha. Alright, cool. Alright, so that was the secret gem area. Yeah, the annoying thing about the secret gem areas is most of them only hold like about four boxes. <laughs> so if you be like the level normally, you just got like four boxes missing and it's so annoying. Ah. Those secret gem areas are such a tease. Come on, go! Stupid jungle rollers, you're getting in my way, man. What's even the point of you? What is the point of these jungle rollers in the first place? Jeez. Alright. Torn a bonus round, it should be easy, because it's like the second level, man. Come on. Yeah, five boxes. Five boxes, man. So yeah, guys, in the original Crash Bandicoot games, uh, Coco didn't even appear in Crash 1. Uh, she was in Crash 2, but she wasn't playable at all. And all she really did was kind of... Um, warn Crash about Cortex, what he was doing, and then she was playable in Crash 3, but only in certain levels, and she was never really playable in any platforming levels, she was only playable in levels where she, um, you know, the riding levels, like with the hog and everything, and also like, uh, vehicle levels, yes, first gem for this video, alright, sweet, okay, cool, oh, Coco animation, please, She just pulled it out of her laptop, what the heck? Alright then. Alright guys, now we're going on to the Great Gate. Alright, let's do this. Alright, this level's a bit more of a pain than Jungle Rollers, but nowhere near as annoying as Native Fortress. And honestly, I'm not looking forward to doing Native Fortress. Ugh. Alright. And we're going to see our good friends, the Turtles, again. So yay, I love the Turtles so much. Not! I don't like them at all. Alright, oh, invincibility again, please. Alright, go, 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 go! Yeah, I was talking about how uh, Coco was playable in uh, the original games, uh, but when uh, the PS2 came around and they made uh, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, uh, she was playable in platformer levels, and I remember her being not as good as Crash in those levels, but she had like a, like a karate kick, I think? I don't really remember, but I think she was a bit more stiff to move around than Crash was. Alright, watch this stupid turtle kill you, because I hate turtles! Oh crap, my oh no! Why? I barely touched him! I can't get that box now, can I? Oh, I'm gonna have to jump off this platform for crying out loud. I hate turtles! Seriously. I completely understand now why I Crash and Mario want to jump on them. Oh. Udubaga! Welcome back, Akawako. Sorry you died to a stupid turtle. Jeez. Alright, jump over these stinking death traps. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. These native guys are so iffy in this version of the game. Like, in the original, they weren't so bad to deal with, but here, I don't trust them. They're, uh, they're kind of a bit more awkward, honestly. Oh, oh, okay, good. I think I've gotten used to how to deal with the natives in this game. Oh, okay, and oh, good. I was fast enough. Alright, bonus round time. Wee! Alright, cool. Should be easy again. Jump on the TNT box. Oh, okay. Cool. Jump, 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 jump. Cool. Alright, awesome. So yeah, guys, unless some DLC is released for this game, this is probably going to be the final video on Crash Bandicoot 1. 
I heard that they're going to be releasing some DLC uh, for Stormy Ascent, which was a level that was scrapped from the original Crash Bandicoot for being so hard. Oh, and there's the yellow gem platform. Sweet. So, unless they release that, this is going to be the last video on Crash Bandicoot 1. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to continue this game and do Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3? I may do it, I may not do it. It just depends on you guys, you know. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. Ah, I thought I could make that. Gotta start talking. Gotta concentrate, man. Come on, Coco, go. Go, Coco. Go, Coco. Go, Coco. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. No, I wasn't gonna make that. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely do a video when Stormy Ascent comes out, though. And spin. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, great. Okay, the question is, is there boxes behind here? Is there boxes? No? Was that just to give me a life? I think so. Alright then. Cool. And jump! Nope. And jump! Spin that guy away. Jump! Oh crap, oh crap. Get rid of him. Get rid of you. Oh, there's another area like that. Come on. Is there boxes behind here? Um, is it gonna be? There's a life. Yum, 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 yum. Just lots of wumper fruit, I guess. And let's me skip all the dangerous... Oh, there we go. There's a box. Ah, I'm gonna have to go back, though, because of the uh, arrow box. Darn it. If I wasn't going for the gem, I could just skip all of this and make it so much easier. Stinking Great Gate. What do you have against me, Great Gate? Come on. And that native guy is waiting for me. All right, spin. Darn, I can't go back. Let me go back. They make it so much easier. Oh well, jump. I'll get rid of you. Oh, two death traps. Get rid of a monkey. Alright, jump. Jump. Oh, that was close. Alright, come on, let's do this. We're, we're so close to the end, man. Jump. Oh crap. No? That was weird. It wasn't doing its thing. Oh jeez! No! What? That is exactly what I'm afraid of. Stop doing that. I hate it when they bounce me back like that when I jumped on top of him. Like, why? Ah. Uh, okay, jump and spin. Jump and spin. Alright. Brick box. Jump. Jump. And hold X for maximum jump ability. Alright, cool. Jump. That should be the last box, right? Yes. Alright, second gem achieved. Alright, awesome. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's on your back. <laughs> Was it stuck in there with glue or something? I don't know. Oh, well, at least we did it. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're going to upstream. Now, this level really doesn't need a secret gem area, but it has one anyway. So, because <laughs> all you need to do is you need to backtrack to one of the waterfalls, then jump down. And I think there's just like one box down there. Seriously, just one box. Oh, and also there's an area at the very end of the level as well. I almost forgot about that. This level's nice and easy. Nice and relaxing, too, especially with the music. Alright, jump. <laughs> I never noticed before. There's a little uh, splash effect when you jump on the leaves. And on those lily pads as well. That's really cool. Go, 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 go. Checkpoint. Jump. Jump. Get alive. Hit the TNT. Oh, Venus flytrap. Oh. <laughs> Okay, jump! I still love the fact that those fish gargle. They go, Aah! when they jump out of the water. That's so cool. I love that. That's the great thing about this game. It's just got such cool little attention to details like that. Alright, jump, jump. There's a secret gem path. Come on, go! Oh, I thought we had to backtrack. Oh, I guess not. I think I was thinking of that uh, up the creek level. You need to backtrack. Yeah, that's right. It's up the creek, not upstream. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Ooh, perfect timing. Just about to hit the bonus round. All right. Oh, it's this one. This is easy. Okay, the floor is lava. Don't touch the floor. Don't touch the metal boxes, Coco. If you can do this, jump, jump. Use your super jumping abilities. Because that's what Bandicoots do. They have super jumping abilities. That's right. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, man. 22 boxes. That's a lot for a bonus round. All right. Okay, so there's only two boxes to go. Sweet. Alright, come on. Come on. Jump. 
And jump. And jump. And jump. Right, there's a blue one. That means he does it on his own. Alright, go. There's the second area for the secret gem path. Alright. Let's go. Take me to the secret area. Alright. Jump. Gotta watch for that fish. Oh, and go. And go. And go. Alright, cool. There's the final boxes. Oh, crap. That's awkward. Oh, go. 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 Gem. Yeah. Alright. Perfect. Alright, awesome. This video has been going pretty well so far. Oh, it's uh, stuck on your back again. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Alright, awesome. On to the next level. Alright, guys. Now we're doing rolling stones. I actually thought I already had the gem for this level, but I don't. So, alright. I needed the blue gem from Toxic Waste, apparently. Okay, cool. Alright, guys, so yeah, uh, fun fact, guys. If you didn't know this, uh, the voice actress that does the voice for Coco Bandicoot, uh, she also does the voice for Jimmy Neutron, if any of you guys have seen that show. And she also does the voice of uh, Chica's Magic Rainbow, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So, yeah. So, Coco doesn't talk much in this game, but she does in Crash 2. And yeah, if you guys listen to her talk in that game, she sounds almost exactly the same as Chica's Magic Rainbow. And like a feminine version of Jimmy Neutron as well. Because obviously with that voice, she has to make it sound more, uh, you know, masculine. Because it's a boy character. Alright, let's just wait here so we can get the other Aku Aku. Alright, I'm going to go this way first because there's a Brio token over here. And if I get invincible... Oh, crap. Quick, 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 quick! Oh, jeez! Okay. Yeah, because that's how I screwed it up last time. That oh, wait. Oh, no! Oh, are you kidding me? Damn it. <sighs> yeah, how I screwed it up last time is because um, I had invincibility and I blew up that collection of uh, boxes. And that basically ruined my chances to get the Brio bonus token. Whoa. So I didn't get to do the Brio bonus run the first time I did this level. So, yeah. So I had to make sure that I broke that box individually. So that way I didn't destroy the token. Break that box, alright. Alright, go! And go! And go! Oh, sweet! Can I get invincibility now? Yes, I can! Awesome! Oh, well, whatever. We missed one invincibility, but it's not a big deal. Ah, and of course the bonus round is right there. Come on, you're wasting my invincibility, man. Why are you gonna do that to me? Alright, jump, 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 jump. The floor is lava, jump! The floor is lava, the metal box is lava. Don't touch them. Ah, oh, crap, I'm gonna have to now. Because these lion boxes... No, I failed. <laughs> I failed my challenge. Oh, well. Woohoo! Bye, Torna. Alright, back to Rolling Stones. I like the reference there, by the way. Rolling Stones. <laughs> Alright, does, uh, does each of the Rolling Stones have a name like a uh, Ringo? <laughs> Down into the secret area now. Break these boxes in uh, Cortex's little area here. Ugh. There's Cortex's ugly face. Alright, cool. Up we go. Alright, jump. Jump. Oh, that was close. There's the Bria bonus area. Doing this for the first time in this last place. That's cool. Ah, I know this one. You gotta jump carefully. Alright, jump. And jump. Ooh, perfect. Alright, jump. Spin and go back. Just wait for that one to blow up. Alright, jump. 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 And jump, jump, and jump. Blow yourself up, Brio. That's right. Get out of here. Jeez. We should be close to the end now. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> did, you, did you guys just see that? Those uh, Rolling Stones just bumped into each other. That was weird. Okay, and apparently they stop when you go forward because, as you guys saw, I went forward and came back, and they stopped. And then they decided to troll me and bump into me. Like, what the heck, man? Uh, yep, just generate that gem with your laptop, I guess. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on to the next level, guys. Let's do this! Alright, now we're doing Native Fortress. Ugh. This level. This level. Great. This is probably going to be the most annoying level out of the ones that I need to do for the rest of the gems. Alright, bring it on, bro. I don't care. At least I can die and still get the gem, so that's not a big deal. And I got two Aku, Aku so yeah. Alright. Oh, sweet. Invincibility straight up. Awesome. Alright, get out of here, turtle, you stupid turtle! I hate turtles in this Crash Bandicoot game! I hate them so much! Alright, run, 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 run! Invincibility mode activated! Come on, come on, come on! Not even death traps can hurt me! Or fire pits! Jump and spin! Get that thing! Jump! 
All right, jump and spin. All right, sweet. That was pretty good. All right, jump. Yeah, Coco seems to be about the same as Crash in terms of handling. She doesn't appear to be any different, but I did hear that she was a last minute addition to this game. So that would kind of make sense. Like, she's just a reskin of Crash. So yeah. Still cool though. Still cool that we can play as Coco. But I noticed that you can't play as her in every level. You can't play as her in the uh, Hog Wild levels. And I don't think you can play as her in the boss battles either. But yeah. Whatever, doesn't really matter. You can play as her in most of the levels. So yeah. Alright, jump and spin. Spin this guy. Alright, jump. Alright, can I make that? Oh, come on. That's a joke. The fly didn't even touch me. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> that guy didn't want to die, apparently. It's fine. As long as I don't die, we're cool, bro. Alright, uh, oh. Okay. Oh, jump, jump. Can I get all of it? Can I get all of it? Come on, come on, come on. No, I screwed it up. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I don't really care because I can die without a problem, so. Whatever. You only live once, man. You only live once. Well, except in Crash, then you live about 99 times because you've got about 99 lives. Alright, well, this one's easy. Ah, uh, you gotta love it when the game gives you a nice, easy bonus round. Jump and jump! Easy and simple. Yeah, it almost seems like the more difficult levels get the easier bonus rounds. It's kind of weird, like, it's the same with the generator room. That level had, like, a really easy bonus round with only, like, six boxes. And you just had to jump on them one by one and reach the end. It was so easy. And I think the one in a uh, Toxic Waste was also pretty easy. Yeah, it's so weird. Ugh, I don't know. Back to Akuaku Aku again. What's up, buddy? Sorry you died about two times. <laughs> That's my bad, man. Alright. Uh, okay, gotta wait for this stupid guy. Or if I just touch his tail, I'm gonna get hurt, apparently. Ugh. I think I can skip all this now. I'm not sure if there's boxes back here, though. No? Is there? I don't know. Boxes! Is there any boxes back here? I can't really see. Aku Aku, tell me, is there boxes? Nope, I guess not. Alright, cool. Nope! Oh, jeez! Ah, oh, come on! Seriously, fire pits? Now the fire pits are starting to annoy me. Alright, jump and jump! Cool. Alright, jump! I may have lost my Aku Akus, but I can beat this level without dying, I'm sure of it. Alright, whoop! Okay, good. Alright, jump and jump! Okay! Good. Alright, cool. Two boxes there. Alright, there's the red gem area. Let's go! Up in the sky. We're going to heaven. Yeah! <laughs> Apparently I died. Did I die? Because now I'm going up to heaven. Wee! Let's fly up to heaven. Yeah! <laughs> nah, just kidding. We're just going up to the clouds. I kind of like this area. It's a cool little cloud area. Alright, jump. Kind of reminds me of the kind of things you'd see in uh, Mario levels. Because I think in Mario, isn't there like secret areas where you can jump up to the clouds and stuff? If you hit like these like uh, white boxes with a music note on it, I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Mario, but yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if this is supposed to be a reference to that or not, but maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go back down to the native fortress. Down we go. <laughs> it's going to take a while for us to get back down though again. Yep, and it doesn't help that that gem path moves really slowly. Come on, bro. You can go a bit faster. I'm not going to fall off. Any time now. Well, it's taking so long that like, Coco has to go on her laptop. She got bored. She's like, screw this, I'm just going on my laptop, man. I'm gonna check my Facebook status. Okay, jump. And there's another area right there. Oh, no boxes, just a life. Well, that was a waste of time. Alright, I think I have to go back there anyway, because if I don't, um, I'll probably get burned by the fire pit. So, yeah. Alright, guys, so we're going up to the third and last level of this level. <laughs> the third and last level of this level. I meant to say the third and last level of this native fortress. Before we uh, win. Alright, let's do this. Jump and jump, 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 jump. Alright, cool. I can hear the ending. Come on, we're coming up to the ending now. And there we go. There's the gem. Alright, good. Uh, I'm glad to get this level out of the way. Okay, we're almost up to 100%, guys. Awesome. Haha! <laughs> Alright, sweet. Good job, Coco. Alright, now we're going to the Road to Nowhere. And I know what you guys are going to say, Oh no, the Road to Nowhere, that level is so hard. But really, it's nowhere near as bad as the High Road. I had no real trouble with Road to Nowhere the first time, I think. 
I think I only died once, and that was a really crappy death. I just kind of wasn't really paying attention, and I slipped off one of the bridge planks. Oh well. Let's do this. Okay, so I think this area has got two uh, red gem secret areas. So yeah, we're going to keep an eye out. One is to the side, and then one is to the very end of the level. Ugh, and the one at the very end of the level is kind of awkward, but hopefully I can beat it with no problems. I don't know. Hopefully on the first or second try. Seriously, I'm kind of happy to come back to this level after freaking the high road. I'm so glad I never have to go back to that level ever again. Well, I, <laughs> I'll have to go back to it when I do the time trials, but I'm not going to do videos of the time trials, guys, because I have a feeling no one's going to really watch those. I mean, who wants to watch videos of the time trials, you know? So I'm just going to do the time trials in my spare time, because I do want to get the platinum trophies for all these games. And there's the first uh, red gem area. Alright. Yes, yeah, so this takes us to an area that looks very similar to the Lost City and Sunset Vista, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so you got to trigger that TNT box so it hits the exclamation point box. Nothing back there, and is there anything back here? Nope, okay. Oh, so that just set off a box over here. Now we got to jump and spin. Now we got to jump and hit the one over here that's pretty hidden very well. Now hit all these boxes. Alright, cool, now there's one more TNT to set off. Or two, I mean, whatever. Alright, cool. Now let's go back. That was pretty easy. Alright, now let's make it to the end of the level and find the second secret gem area. This one's more annoying because it's kind of like that beginning part and in the high road. You know when there was um, the bit where you have to go forward and there's those Wumpa Fruits floating in midair and where those Wumpa Fruits are, there's an invisible wooden plank? Well, yeah, it's kind of like that. Alright. Jump, jump, jump. And spin this box. Alright. Alright, is there any more hogs? I don't know. There might be one more. Yep, there's one more. Oh, great. This part's kind of annoying. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of feel like the hogs aren't really a problem. It's mostly the, uh, the turtles. Oh, great. And there's the first turtle. But luckily, this level's only got two turtles, from what I remember. Uh, I still really love that uh, fog effect used in this bonus round. That's so cool. Ah, those little attention to details, man. They're so cool. Man. Alright, go! Jump! Jump and spin! Sweet! Let's make sure that blows up before we end this. Cool. Back to the road to nowhere! Alright. Uh, okay, here we come up to the turtles. Uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Jump! Oh, good. I think I only just made that. Jump! Oh! Ooh, okay. Cool. Alright, there's the ending. Ah, there's the red gem area. Alright, here's the part that's really annoying. Alright, uh, jump! Oh, stupid platform you got in my way, I almost couldn't see- Ah. <laughs> that kind of threw me off, you got in my way. Couldn't really see there for a second. Now I'm gonna do the stupid turtle stuff again. Jump! Alright. And jump! Okay, cool. Jump, jump. Oh, come on, let's do it this time. Let's not screw it up. I don't want to do this a million billion times. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Ooh, okay. Slow and steady. And jump! We did it! Sweet! Oh, there was one right there too. <laughs> nice, awesome. Okay, we got the Road to Nowhere gem. Nice. Alright guys, we're almost up to 100%. We're doing pretty good. Haha! <laughs> Alright, on to the next level, guys. Let's do this! Alright, guys, now we're doing Boulder Dash. Now, this level's pretty easy. You just gotta play it as normal, and then there's a Purple Gem secret area right at the end. Alright. Cool. And I quite like these Boulder levels, so it's good to come back to a level like this. Alright, come on. You gotta love that pun, too. Boulder Dash. <laughs> as someone who can appreciate good puns, that's pretty funny. Alright, come on. Jump. Jump. Okay. Oh no, Coco's scared of the boulder. <laughs> oh crap, oh crap, I jumped too early. Oh crap, I hope the boulder doesn't catch up to me now. You keep your distance, boulder stranger danger! Okay, good. We did good there. <laughs> Surprisingly. Alright, jump, and jump. Oh, okay. Now we're going into the rotating platforms. Come on, Coco, you can do it. Go, Coco. Go, Coco. Go, Coco. Go, 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 Coco. Go, 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 Coco. 
avoid those weird scarecrow things. I don't know why they're there, but apparently they exist for some reason. Oh, jump. 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 And jump. Okay, we're almost there. I think this is the final boulder until the end. I might be wrong, but I think this is the final boulder. Oh, okay. Quick, 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 quick. Go before the TNT blows up. Okay, good. All right, run. I just love that Coco carries her laptop with her everywhere she goes. <laughs> I mean, she was kind of like that in the original games too. She had her laptop always with her. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, yeah, it's funny to just see her running around with this laptop. It's hilarious, man. Alright, jump. Jump! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Go, Coco! You can do it! We're almost near the end! Then we can go to the super secret special area. Come on. And there we go. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Down into the mysterious caves we go. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. I love these cool little mushroom caves. It looks so cool. This is probably one of the coolest secret areas in the whole game. I love this. All right, spin. All right, there's a stinking piranha plant. Get out of here. It's a purple one too to fit with the uh, theme of the gem area, I guess. <laughs> Alright, go! This area gives you lots of lives, too. And there's our lovely carvings of Frio and Cortex. So apparently they were down here for some reason. I don't know why they would be, unless the natives carved those. Oh, okay. Alright guys, just one more gem to go. Let's go on to Cortex Power. Alright, here we go. Alright, this level's going to be very annoying because it's going to require a lot of backtracking and <laughs> I know that I'm going to die quite a few times in this because it's going to be a bit awkward because I might even have to kill myself on purpose a few times because I'm going to have to make sure that I don't miss any boxes. Because honestly, I don't care so much about dying in this level. I just care about getting all the boxes. I haven't even really pointed out though that I can see those clocks there. Those clocks that are set off the time trial. It's really weird to see them in Crash Bandicoot 1 because I'm only used to seeing them in Crash Bandicoot 3. Oh well, whatever. Alright, so there's two red uh, electricity things. Pipes, whatever you want to call them. Alright, so i got to remember that when I backtrack. Alright. Jump. And spin. Oh! Oh! What? Are you kidding me? Oh. That's insane Trilogy jumping for you. It's crap. Ah. Uh, whatever. I lost my Kawakul too. Oh. No, it doesn't matter. I got him right back again. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Okay, don't screw it up this time. I hate those spike guys, they always throw me off. Ugh, okay. Come on, jump! Get rid of that guy. I think they're supposed to be like vacuums or something. Alright, go! And go! Cool. Sweet. This level's pretty generous with its uh, Aku Akus. Okay, we gotta go this dead end way first. Alright, oh! There's the Mafia Potteru again. Why couldn't the Barrel Potterus from Toxic Waste have a laugh like that, but like just more deep? They took that out of this game. I don't know why. It's weird. That was the fitting part of the game, in my opinion. Alright, jump. Let's go this way. Alright, time to start the backtracking. Okay, spin this. There's a checkpoint, but I don't think I'll use it just yet. Alright, come on. Let's go. Alright, we're going to be careful now that we're going backwards. Oh. Okay. Jump. Oh, great. Oh. Okay. Okay, because I didn't go this way the first time I played this level, so this is all new to me now. Oh, oh, okay. Get rid of that guy. <laughs> I gave him a sneak attack. It came up from behind. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't stop me, Potteru. Oh, that was close. Okay. Ah, okay. So this is where we just came from. All right. So there's no boxes down this way. That's good to know. Yeah, because some paths have got no boxes at all, and then one of them does have all the boxes. So yeah, that's why you need to just check. Alright, so now that I know, I don't need to come down this path again. Alright, go. Now let's go down the green gem path. Oh, now we're going to get invincibility. Sweet. Alright, jump. Kill that guy because he's so annoying. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, can I make that? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, I couldn't make it. No. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a risk, but oh well. Ah, great. Now I've got to do this again. It's fine, though. This level requires a bit of uh, experimentation and backtracking, so it's not a big deal. I don't mind dying. As long as I get the gem, I'm happy. And at least I don't have to go down that way again, down the left path. Alright, come on, spin those things. 
All right, down we go. Seriously, this is such a complicated facility. How does Cortex or Pinstripe or Brio get around this place? Especially without dying, because there's so much toxic waste everywhere, man. Jeez. Is that why they have so many robots? The robots just do everything for them? I guess so. All right, quick. Oh, nope. <laughs> I wasn't going to make that. All right, go. Spin. All right, jump. Uh, no invincibility this time, but it doesn't really matter because the invincibility got me killed, man. It's not really worth it anyway. All right, for this part, we just jump on the TNT boxes. Just wait for these guys to get out of the stinking way. Go. There we go. Okay, cool. Jump. Oh, jeez. I hate those guys. And we'll jump on that platform over there. We've got 25 boxes out of 42. That's pretty good. Oh. Okay, jump. And jump. Okay, good. Alright, so that wasn't so bad, but now we need to backtrack again and see what was down here. I need to hit that checkpoint box, too. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Jump. Oh, okay. That was close. Oh, I hate this part. Oh! That part with the three electricity things is really iffy. Even in the original. Alright, uh, jump and... Oh, what? Alright. Ah, oh, crap, are you kidding me? I got electrocuted? Ah, oh, alright. Yeah, guys, I think I'll just do a bit of a jump cut at some point in this level because uh, <laughs> I've died like about three times now, so... I know you guys don't want to see all of my fails, so I'll just cut some of them out. And I've uh, hit that checkpoint box now, so now I shouldn't need to backtrack because I've gone as far back as I can. And uh, the only box in that path is the checkpoint one, so yeah. I should be fine to not backtrack too much. Alright, go! I hit the TNT box and... Whoa, okay. <laughs> I didn't do it properly. And run! Alright, go. And jump. And jump again. Alright, whoop. And... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Jump, jump, jump. Sweet. Okay, we're right near the end now. Okay, we're just gonna get this box back here. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Come on, you stinking thing. Jump. Uh, oh, uh, jump! Oh, are you kidding me? It broke? Ah, oh, I didn't even need to come back here. Uh, alright. Alright, yeah, that's fine. We can go back now. That's so annoying. I didn't even need to come back here. That was a waste of time. Jump. And, oh, no. Jump. I almost went, but I shouldn't have because I would have died. But yeah, oh, jump. Yum, 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 yum. Spin. Alright, alright, I better not screw this part up. Jump, 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 jump. We're almost there, come on. Yes, alright, just spin these boxes and we're home free. Oh, sweet, awesome. Alright, we got all the gems, guys, nice. And with that, we got 100%. Now we can go into the Great Hall and get the secret and alternate ending. Oh, oh the ultimate gem path. Alright, sweet, let's do this. Alright, now we're off to the Great Hall. Cool. Return here when you've earned every clear gem. Yes, I have. Now we can get the secret ending. Alright. Oh, I'm excited. Come on, Crash. Let's do this. See, we need to do this as Crash, of course. This is his ending, after all. I love the music in this level. It's just so bouncy and happy. Yeah, I think this ending is probably the better one, but this is actually the non-canon ending. The canon ending is when you defeat Cortex and light his castle on fire. So yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're almost there. Come on. Go, Crash. Go. You're going to be reunited with your love. Oh. Oh, this is a bit different. Oh, what's going on? Is there a cutscene? Uh, what? What's going on? What are we loading here? Oh, there is a cutscene. <laughs> oh, there she is, Crash. Go get her. <laughs> Aww. And then just right away on a random bird. That's nice. I just like how Torna was just like waiting there for Crash on the bird. Like, <laughs> why? Whoop. Oh. <laughs> oh, he missed his kiss. Ah, oh, that goofy Crash. Oh. Papal sold the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. This was in the original as well. 
After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rui went on to write the well-received book, Through the Eye of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and its consequences. Ooh, nice. Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Alright, nice. Good for you, Koala Kong. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for his upcoming gubernatorial campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Bria rediscovered his first love, tending bar. <laughs> yeah, okay, apparently Bria was a bartender at some point. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Yes, that's true indeed. Alright guys, so that's the end of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for Crash 1. Uh, yeah, of course guys, let me know in the comments below if you want to see Crash 2 and 3. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, it helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye everybody.